The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacey Sturm. Kevin Kyes. Oh, here. Hold on. I got to pull this up here. <laughs> that was very uh, <laughs> German North Dakota. <laughs> ah, hold on there. Hold on there now. Hold on there now. I'm not quite ready yet. <laughs> it's going to be a minute. Let's see. Here we go. I think. Is it here? I would say it's right around that area. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, your kids started school this last week, didn't they? They did. Well, my kid My did. kid started like three weeks ago. I have that's another, right, Zoe did. Yeah, yeah, I have another year for Griff. Wow. I have another year to shape my kid up socially. <laughs> <laughs> Get it ready to interact with others. So isn't that like, hi, Griffin. I want to be your best friend. Smack in the face. <laughs> Big balls. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You're, you're started like two weeks ago? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know. It's crazy. And they love it. Here's the thing, though, man. My kids go to St. Mary's. I know. Oh, private school. Stacy's got to be rich. No. We get tuition reimbursement from our church. But um, my kids have... Ty has five new kids in his class this year. Springfield, Missouri. Texas... Um, God, I was trying to think of all, all the places he said they're from. I'm thinking oil or FEMA. Oh, yeah. That's probably. what I'm thinking. It's sure. got to be those two things combined. Yep. My daughter's class, they've gone through three years now where they've just had like 15 kids. It's been pretty small. Yep. Three new kids in their class. One transferred over from Cathedral, but then the other two are just like new wow. students. So, yeah, the landscape has really changed the past since the kids started school last year, since they even ended school last year. It's crazy. Well, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll be interested to see uh, once I get to know Zoe's class a little more, yeah. how many are out of town or, or new to right. her classroom. All she's talking about is this person still in my class. Awesome. <laughs> or... I can't believe this jerk is in my class again. He's still in my class. See, well, and it's weird for us, private school, because you very rarely have any new families besides the incoming kindergartners. Yep. You know, you'll usually have some new families that come in where their first kid is in kindergarten now, and then you get to know them. But, like, it's really weird to just have all of a sudden five new kids that have absolutely nothing to do with the area in your class. Yeah, that's that's. It's awesome, though. It's great. Yeah. We love it. Ty loves playing with all the kids. He said, they're nice kids. That's nice. Yeah, they're accepting. <laughs> they're just so happy What's to have up, other kids out outside it? the parameter. Come in. What's up, outsider? <laughs> but, I mean, it's true because, you know, a lot of those people, a lot of those families will have three or four kids in St. Mary's. So one of the kids is like eight, two years older than Summer. One of the kids in Summer's class. And then one of the kids might be in Ty's class. So you get to know the families really well. So when somebody comes in, like from Texas, you're like, how did this happen? It's right, a good thing, yep. but like, wow. Mm-hmm. So it's been a crazy year. Nice. Not just for us, apparently, but I think there's for a lot others. of, yeah. And I, Ty said, the one kid said he's not going to be here all year. So I'm thinking he must be FEMA. Oh, yeah. I would I would say Although, so. Although FEMA, I hate to break it to you. You're probably going to be here all <laughs> year. <laughs> Enjoy the winter. <laughs> the one gal from FEMA, she stopped by. She bought, she bought a United We Sand shirt. Mm-hmm. She said, uh, you know, I have to say I've worked lots of floods. I'm from I'm from Louisiana. I've worked lots of floods. I have to say this is a first, like a three and a half month flood. Who has that? <laughs> nice. We do. We do. Leave yep. it to us. Anyway, let's get back to this. So um, now that I found it, toddler or frat boy, they share very scary similarities. This is from Babbel.com. Your toddler and your frat boy both love a good fight. Mm-hmm. It might be a food fight. It might be um, food throwing. It might be um, pushing your classmate down. Absolutely. They both love fights. The next way that your toddler and your frat boy are very similar. Um, oh, often they just want to hang out in their underwear. <laughs> whether it's a boy, whether it's a girl, often it's a hard time keeping clothes on that child. Yep. So they, <laughs> they challenge authority. Always. Yep. You don't know what you're talking about. Whether it's a drunken hooligan or a two-year-old. Yep. You don't know what you're talking about. And most of the time you're wrong. Yep. They're going to try to fight you. Yep. The next way that your toddler and your frat boy are a lot alike, they throw their bottles. (laughs) (laughs) 
One's filled with beer, one's filled with milk, or one's filled with Jack Daniels. <laughs> I'm not going to say which one holds which. It doesn't matter, but they all like to throw their bottles. It's like a game almost. Oh, yeah. Have you ever noticed that? Both, both kids will make a game out of that. Next reason, they're both sore losers. They don't like to lose. <laughs> Hooligans are notorious for causing damage and starting riots when the home team loses. But guess what? Toddlers are notorious for walking fits and wailing fits and starting a riot when they, when they yep. can't get their binky. Yep. Next way, they like to play dress up. Both of them. The hooligan will dress up in their favorite team's choice of color jerseys. They'll paint their face. They'll put on a wacky yeah. wig. They like to do Halloween activities as well. Like They feel comfortable. Finally, it's Halloween. The freak can come out at night. Same thing with your toddler, except every day is dress-up day. Ty still likes to dress up. In fact, he was really into Karate Kid this last weekend. Oh, really? So I had to make him a... Uh, Wait, I, we are going to put him in Taekwondo, so he's going to be super excited to get that. He calls it a he calls it an outfit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's a uniform, but whatever. <laughs> so he's just he's just thinking of adding it to his repertoire of dress up. But I had to make him the Daniel Sun headband. Oh, with the with the with, with the Chinese star yeah. sun on it. Yeah. Good job, Stace. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> also, both your toddler and your frat boy like to streak. They do. Yeah. A fan of running naked across anywhere, mostly a sports field. Your your toddler's a little less discriminatory. Oh my 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 uh, my son loves loves when there we have people over. That's when he decides to come out and go, really naked. <laughs> like all right, man. Sorry, everybody. But did you see his penis? <laughs> he gets that from me. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and the last way that your toddler and frat boy are very similar, both like the boobies. They do. <laughs> These are all very weird, like, wow. Very scary, yep. isn't it? Oh, yeah. Very scary. So now you think, like, have they really grown up when they go off to college? Or Not is it really. like a rebirth? It's kind like of a thing. rebirth. It's like falling back. Yep. Reversion. So there we go. That's it. That's awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Either you're from Boston, <laughs> it's wicked cool. <laughs> hey, Stacy, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's oh, been a day, Kevin. Yeah, I'm, and and you know what? Kind of glad at this point it's done because <laughs> it could only get worse from here. It really could. <laughs> you guys are lucky. It's time to go. One Hit Wonders coming up at 1, Woman Power Hour at 2, Man Power Hour at 3. Your requests all day. Let me know what you want to hear. Email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URLradio.net. Everybody have a lovely day. Bye-bye.